Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading for August 29th through the 5th of September. And let's see what we have for you Sagittarius. Oh, you already got one on the table. Oh, two. If you're dealing with somebody like a man who's immature, um, I feel like you're tired of, you're like tired of waiting on that and you're like, um... I want something more. For some of you, something, for some of you, you're going to see a person that you didn't see as an opportunity, like a love opportunity, um, look like one <laughs> by the end of this week, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like you're going to see somebody in a different light this week for sure. And you're like, oh, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like you're changing the way that you look at love and people because the people that you have chosen haven't necessarily been the best for you. So, yeah, this is going to be more about love, I can see. Ooh, a new beginning. Oh, a new beginning. Maybe this person was a friend. Um, Because there's a sense of like loyalty. There's a sense of like comfortability with this new person. Um, and you're just taking note of how you feel. It's like you're paying attention. You're trying to talk to them more. You're seeing what's up with these, fe these new feelings that you have. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. Okay, Ten of Wands, Six of Wands, Five of Wands. Wow, lots of wand energy, lots of movement here, okay? Yeah, you've been burdened in the past with relationships, probably one person in particular, um, but I feel like you're going outside of your norm and finding something else, okay? I feel like there's a bit of conflict, like this person is different or not the type of person you would usually choose, but I feel like it's good, Um it's like you finally have to end how you used to date people or if you were dealing with someone, you got to finally close that up with them before you move forward on something else. But we are going to dig a little deeper here. Yeah, you got to do you got to do a lot of thinking about a past relationship. It has not been the best. Um, and it, it feels to me as though, Sagittarius, you had to figure out, like, what's best for you. And this just wasn't best for you. You know, it's almost like you've seen it for a while. You've seen the red flags. You've seen it. You've tried it. And it just doesn't balance. Right. So this seems unfair to you to have to deal with this over and over again or date the same type of people or go through the same type of thing. And you're willing to let that part go, like to close that part of your life and heal from it and move on. So you may be looking for someone else or it's that someone else finds you or you get a lot of attention. You have an opportunity to get a lot of attention this week. OK, um, and it is about ego. So this definitely is you're going to be looking or attracted to people who are not necessarily your normal type. Um, be careful about being defensive or looking for tiny things. You know, it's like try to be above that right now. Um it's interesting because it's putting you in a spot where you don't really know like what to expect or what to look for or who to look for, or this is not my normal type. I don't know how this usually, this goes in this kind of scenario, but you need to be open to it because I feel like there's some success in you thinking or doing things that way. Uh, I feel like your love life is about to come out of a dead cycle. It could be that you were meeting people a lot and they just weren't quality. But it's like you're finding people that are quality. It's very interesting. Um, I almost feel like it happens quickly. Like you find a person pretty quickly here. Um, but you don't know. It's like you don't know if you're prepared. You may ask some friends to help you find someone um, and they find someone that you're like, why this person? But there's something here with that person. Okay. 
Interesting, Sagittarius. This is definitely about love. I don't see anything about work, but we'll pull some cards for work. Let's do work now, and then we'll go back to love, okay? I feel like something was taken away from you at work, maybe like a position or people weren't treating you right or you weren't getting the pay that you were promised. But I feel like you kind of looked past it, you know. Um, it's like they're not seeing the type of work that you're putting in and the type of... Uh, longevity that you've had with the company you know it's like you should have seniority but you're not being treated as such um yeah but you're trying to learn to respect your job and the people that you work with okay because i feel like you like your job but you're not going to be treated as second rate i can see that yeah, you're definitely not going to be as gung-ho as you used to be. Um, I feel like you're going back to a time when you were like keeping to yourself or only doing what you're supposed to do and not, you know, being the go-to person anymore, okay? Until you be until you get treated better. So, love yeah, I feel like someone you never thought about dating um, fixes a dry spell for you. That's it. Yeah, you're looking at a past relationship that wasn't good as fortunate because because through going through this thing, you got to see what you needed to see. And heal parts of you maybe that needed to heal like superficiality or only looking for something specific. It, it got you to open up a little bit more in your dating scene and the dating world. So I don't feel like you're taking it that bad. I mean, it's unfortunate that it happened, you know, but you're not taking it that bad. OK, so Sagittarius, I love you <laughs> and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.